Hello everyone and welcome back to higher mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We need to solve this for x and y. We have x cubed minus y cubed equal to 91. And how can we solve this? How can we find this root? Because we have different variables. We have x and y. How can we solve it? Take a look. At first we have x cube and y cube, so difference of squares. And we need to know the formula. I write this formula under this under this expression. So if we have, for example, a cube minus b cube, we will have our formula a minus b and times a square plus a b and plus b square. So this is this is our formula that we need that we need right here. What we're going to do next? Let's let's use this formula. Let's just just change a by x and b by, by y. So let's do this. We will have x minus y times x square plus xy and plus y square. So this is the same as this in the beginning. So this is the same as right here in the beginning. Equal to 91. And take a look. Imagine that this is two numbers and as well we have two parentheses. So this is some number, we don't know about this number, and this is some number as well. So we don't know about this number, but 91 is a real good number because there are no much case that we can express this number. The first case that we can express is 1 times 91 equal to 91. The second case we can express this number as, of course, minus 1 times minus 91, and we as well have, will have 91. And third case, we will have 7 times 13 equal to 91. And as well, the fourth case, we will have minus 7 times minus minus 13. So as you can see, I just expressed this 91 in four in four way. So the first way, second, third, and fourth. Take a look what we will have. X minus Y, we don't know about the sign of this parentheses, so it can be positive, it can be negative with these parentheses. But these parentheses, if we look closely, we will see that these parentheses are all, is always positive, because right here we have the sum of two squares, and we have a product, so it doesn't matter about the sign of this expression, we will have that at these parentheses is always positive. So I write that these parentheses is always positive. And these parentheses can be negative and positive, so we don't know about the sign of these parentheses, but these parentheses is always positive. So we reject, as you can see, we reject this case and we reject this case, because right here we have minus 13 and as well minus 7, because we need to change these numbers. And right here we reject this. So we, as you can see, we will have only two cases and we need to solve, of course, the system of equation, because x minus y can be 1 and these parentheses can be 91 and it will be our first case. So let's let's solve it. Let's solve our first case. First case, we will have system of equation, so x minus y will be our first number equal to 1, and the second, this parenthesis equal to 91. We will have x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 91. So how can we solve this, this system of equation? The best way to solve it is to take a look what I'll have, I, what I'll do. If I express this xy as in that way as 3xy minus 2xy so I can do this let's just express this this system what we'll have we will have x minus y equal to 1 and this system I write as this equation x square minus 2xy plus y square and of course in the end plus 3xy equal to 91 and take a look, we can write this, this expression, this is our, our formula, we need to know about it. So this will be our, our formula. We will have x minus y equal to 1, and this is our formula. What formula? x minus y square, and of course in the end plus 3xy equal to 91. And take a look, really interesting case because x minus y equal to 1. So this x minus y equal to 1 and we can put this in the second parenthesis. And we will have 1 square. What we're going to do with this case, right here we'll have 1 square. 1 square bring on the right, we'll have only 90 and 3xy equal to 90, xy equal to 30. So we will have our 
final system x minus y equal to 1 and x y equal to equal to 30. I hope you understand this step. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. We can express this x as 1 plus y from the first equation. And we just plug in this expression in the second equation. We will have 1 plus y times y equal to equal to 30. And how can you solve it? Of course, it will be a quadratic equation. y square plus y minus 30. So we will have y square plus y minus 30 equal to equal to 0. And as you can see right here, we will have two roots. And I write these roots right here. For example, right here we will have our we will have our roots. The first one, as you can see, oh, I write this root right here will be our solution. Take a look. X first, I write X first and X second and Y first and Y second. So from here, as you can see, our Y will be equal to minus 6 and 5. This is a classic equation. So y first will be minus 6 and y second will be equal to 5. And if we bring this minus 6 and 5 right here, we will have our two pairs. If y first equal to minus 6, then x first equal to minus 5. <clears throat> so we will have our first pairs minus 5 and minus 6. And if y2 equal to 5, we will have 1 plus 5 will be 6. So 6 and 5. So as you can see we just find our first pairs of solution. So this is our first case. We just find our two pairs of solution. But this will be our first case. We need to solve the second one because right here these parentheses can be equal to 91 and this one can be equal to 1. So we can swap this. So let's write this second case. x minus, one, x minus y equal to 91 and x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 1. So this will be our second case because we can swap these numbers because 91 times 1 equal to 91 and as well 1 times 91 equal to 91. And I solved this, I solved this system of equation last week and I can solve it because we'll have square root will be negative so this system of equation doesn't have any solution in real numbers. So I, I write this as no roots in the second case. So we cannot solve this second case because we'll have complex number. If you're interested in this, of course, you can solve it and you will have like more complex, complex roots. So let's solve the third case. We solve the first one in the first way and in the second way. Right here we have two pairs of roots and right here we'll have only roots in complex numbers. So let's solve the next case. Third case, 7 times 13 equal to 91. What we will have? We will have the system of equation. We will have that x minus y equal to 7 and x square plus xy and plus y square equal to equal to 13. And how can I solve this, this system of equation? Using the same logic as right here. If we write this as, as minus 2xy plus 3xy, we will have the same situation. We will have that xy equal to not 30, but this square give us 48. And if we subtract it, we will have minus 36. So as you can see, our system of equation, we will have the next x minus y equal to 7 and xy equal to minus 12 x, y equal to minus 12. And how can you solve it? Of course, using the same logic, let's express this as x equal to 7 plus y, and let's bring this to, the th to this equation. What we will have? We will have y square plus 7y and plus 12 equal to 0, and as you can see, we'll have really obvious roots, minus 3 and minus 4, and we will have our next pair of roots. So I write this as a, in this table, so we'll have next pairs of next pairs of roots. So y third equal to minus three, and from here x third equal to 
4 if we plug in this to this equation. And of course, y force equal to minus 4 and x force equal to 3. So we have first pair, second pair, third pair and the fourth pair of, of solution. And of course, we will have the last, the last case, the, the first case. We need to swap these 7 and 13. What we will have? We will have x square plus xy and plus y square equal to 7 and x minus y equal to 13. And this, this will have the same situation as the second case. So if you swap these, these two numbers, we don't have any solution. So this one does not give us any solution. So the, this will be our answer to this algebra problem. We will have first pair, second pair. As you can see, we can write it in, in parentheses. So I do this. We will have answer. We will have first pair minus 5 minus 6. First pair of solution. Second pair 6 and 5. Third pair 4 minus 3. And the fourth one 3 and minus 4. In this way or in this way, this will be our will be our answer. I hope you understand this solution. This is in a full. This will be our solution to this interesting algebra problem. So if you still have any question, write a question in a comment, write a suggestion in a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.